That dirt makeup though, I almost never have time to do it when I uh, cosplay Wolf Carol, but it came out cool today. I actually woke up early enough to do it, so. So sticky. So there's a side entrance to my building um, that I can go through instead of going through the cafeteria. And I was like, imagine if that is closed. It was closed. <laughs> so I had to go through the freaking cafeteria looking like this and I just held my head down and just prayed that nobody called the cops on me. Anyway, I'm off to con and I'll see you guys in a little bit. My paper knife on me yet. I thought that was a little overkill. Um, yeah, imagine me walking through the freaking lunchroom with a knife strapped to me with bloody hands. Oh my God. Also decided to do no contacts this time, mostly because I was too lazy to go get them because I lost the, that pair that I had the first day that I wore them. That's my life. And new prop alert. Um, you know, because Carol's smoking with the blood of her enemies on her hands. It's like aesthetic. So. So I decided to forego the contacts because I lost one eye <laughs> um, in Atlanta. They were the most comfortable contacts I've ever worn and I can't believe I lost one pair at the party. Me and Maria, Megan, that dude is wearing a leather jacket. <laughs> that dude was wearing a leather jacket and a red, um, a red scarf. And I called out Negan. He just looked at me. I was like, oh, you're just wearing that awkward. Like I was saying, I was at the party with Maria and I was doing um, Furiosa. She has blue eyes, so I wore the contacts that I bought for Carol. And we're partying, reveling it up. And then all of a sudden I feel like my eyes feel a little different. So she comes and I'm like, do I have only one contact in? She's like, yep. It's like, uh. So yeah, I'm not doing the contact today. Ahead of me looked like he's about to propose to somebody at the convention. I see flowers and a ring box in there. Okay. I see my people. Hopefully it stays that way. There goes a Dale. It's pretty awesome. And hopefully I meet up with... I wonder where the photo op area is. I know... Oh, is it? Maybe it's upstairs. It's pretty cool. Already here behind that volunteer. Go. 
is already here. It's already here. Like a lot of people are here already. I'm just walking around trying to get everything situated. I think the photo ops are in this area. The floor is humongous. I hear somebody talking, but I cannot find the panel area, but I hear it. it looks like they moved the photo op area from like where I was overlooking the balconies to over here where you can't see anything. Something that's really cool. He's a don't open dead inside doormat. I've never seen that. And these clocks are pretty awesome too. So my knife already gave up the fight. I, don't, I think I, I should have known better because that's what happened to my actual knife. I bent down and it broke. Hoping to see some in the flesh cosplay. Like I saw some people in like military uh, armor and stuff, but they didn't have the badge, I mean the armband, so I thought know that they were just army guys I don't know I really like this artwork Carlos's courage but I have way uh, Carol I have way too much Carol says I really like that oh Minimalist artwork, yes. Cooper's line is actually longer than Kari's line. Kari is here. Looking attractive as ever. Oh, I can't believe his line is longer. <laughs> Carol has cookies, Tara has Twizzler. Oh man, if I was not. If I was not traveling back on plane, I would buy one of these, I swear. <gasps> Look at these, guys. I love this stuff. This is super, like, unique stuff that I haven't seen anywhere else. That's awesome. Morgan, away with you. Oh my god, these would be such great gifts. And it is by Candlelight 27. That's her information. All the super like cool, unique stuff. Ah, she has some Game of Thrones things, Harry Potter. These chests. I thought they were pins, but then I like zoomed out, and they're like freaking gorgeous chests. And the artist is this person. I don't know what these are, but they're super cute. And Goblin Dreams. Look, guys, it's me. She has like this stuff. Super freaking cool. books. Art. And the artist is that artist is Chupacabra UK. That code UK. Then you have some custom art gaming things. <laughs> Oh, there's more stuff up here. Nice. 
So this is the view from where the panels and stuff is. There's a few vendors up here, but not that many. Oh, and there's some autographs too over there, I see. This is cool. This is a massive um, makes me really nervous. Apparently these are this child's parents, but he looks like he can slip right through that opening. Very careful. It looks like he can fit through that. Yeah, no, he's alright. It's okay? <laughs> We're really afraid of him. Alright. Oh my god, it's Nikwa. Nikwa just passed by me. I was just about to say I failed my own Walker Stalker tip by not having my camera ready um, because Lori Holden just passed me. But then there goes Nikwa. She just came. So that worked out. There goes Greg Nicotero right there. Michael Rooker. Or aka Mary Poppins. She thinks Daniel's over there, don't you? Scott Wilson. We have the panel that we've been talking about. Here goes Emily Kinney. I don't think they should really have people up here because nobody goes irony. Like, nobody knows that these people are up here. Well, at least I didn't know. I wouldn't have ever, like, ventured up here. Even though the panels are up here. I would have been like, eh, I'll just stay downstairs for the Walker Stalker Con panel. Irony. I literally can't believe that this line is it for Jeffrey D. Morgan. Maybe they're doing it in like sections or something, but this is actually normal. You have to be paying attention because when you see somebody fast walking in a black shirt, best believe that somebody is with them. So I just saw Austin Emilio walk by. I thought my camera was on selfie, but it was forward facing and I didn't get a chance to catch him. So. Sucked. Alana should be making her way soon to the Walker Stalker on live stage. So I'm heading over there to check out her mini panel. And then I think the next one, the next panel that I want to check out is the King and Jerry. It's going to be upstairs. Oh yeah, where's Alana? She's right there. She's just finishing signing up her last couple of people. And then she should be heading. Duh! <laughs> How are you? Yeah, not bad. Who have you got today? Have you got oh no, for photo ops or anything? Nothing. How about you? Uh, I don't know. That's it. Do we see an MMA career in your future? No, no, I need my brain. <laughs> All those people are brain dead. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's great to be back in London, right? How do you feel about being back here? Love it. Love it here. Love the rain. Love the cold. Uh -huh. <laughs> love no sunshine. So, I'm here at the Ezekiel and Kari panel. Alana's was awesome. So. You know, that's a tight video. Yeah, I think he's I think it, he's still uh, licking his wounds a little bit, but uh, and, and trying to figure out how does he move forward. You know what I mean? It's uh, you know everything that he was trying to protect, or most of what he was trying to protect. Uh, I think he's he's still wondering. You know, was all of this worth it? Personally, you know what? The truth is, if White would have just uh, you know told him that there was a gun there, you know what? That that, that, uh, that gun which wasn't supposed to be there. I think he just celebrated like five minutes to work, you know. But he was doing really well, but I think he is still wondering, you know, did I do the right thing?
You did kind of freak out over the applesauce. That was weird. That was, that's not sketchy. Some people just don't like applesauce. I get it. Who? Name one person. Like <laughs> I don't know anybody who hates <laughs> applesauce. I'm sure one person. Who hates applesauce? So it's almost 6 o'clock and the crowd has thinned out considerably. You can actually see patches in the, on the floor. Um, I was finally working up my nerve to go meet Denai. She actually left early. So let's see if I can work it up tomorrow. I know I'm gonna stumble over my words. Like when I met Sneakla, I was barely intelligible. Like it was bad. So I'm just waiting around for the cosplay contest. Um, I just I'm not gonna enter. I don't think I'm just gonna see who comes, meet up with some other cosplayers who I haven't, who I haven't met yet. But I did meet a good bulk. I did meet a good bulk of the UK cosplayers, so I'm super happy. Cosplay contest time. <laughs> 